I think we're just about ready to get going here. A warm welcome to you wherever you are in the world. And our live game is Sparta Prague against Lille. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere, and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. Sparta Prague have chosen to go 4-5-1. Look, for the lone striker, before we even consider what happens around him, he has to get hold of the ball. That's imperative. So we're up and running. Semikaya. Spreads it wide, gets into some space. With a delicate ball. Keeper's ball. Looks like a good ball through. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Sparta Prague seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. So what now? Puts in a cross. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Keeper goes long. Plays it out to the wing. He's come loose.
Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement, forget it. Kozak played out to the right. Now here's the through ball. Tried to play it through. Kozak clearly is miffed having made the run and not get picked out. Out wide to the right. Whipped in. Well read, he sorted that out. goes long and it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing no, good challenge stood up well against his man he is not one readily to admit defeat don't be surprised if he tries that again deftly done A oh, glorious footwork. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Passes it through. Now here's the through ball. He's had a go! He's missed, but not by that far. Very speculative, with little threat, if any, for the keeper. If anyone is going to break the deadlock, now would be a good time. Promising cross. And that's been levered clear. Goes for the cross. Going for goal! Goal! Nil! Lille are so well practiced in the art of keeping the ball through wonderful passing and movement and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal count. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Tries a through ball. In comes the delivery. Lille scoring close to half-time to make it 
Looks to slip it through. Has a swing at it. What about it? And they are disappearing out of sight. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Lille take and there's the end of the first half see if you on the first half well they had their opponents reeling in that half Peter and the break may influence a change somehow but don't hold me to it Lille sitting pretty here at half time 2-0 up And we're underway again. Played out to the wing. Oh, not quite. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Hits it! It's hit the upright. Decent enough try. Well, the look on his face says it all. It so nearly came off for him. But that's the motivation and enthusiasm he shows and the quality he produces. <laughs> Whistle's gone, that's a foul. And no surprise, that's a booking. Well, he'd used up all his chances, hadn't he, Peter? I mean, he was never going to get away with that one. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? He's gone for it! And it's hoisted clear. Looks to clip it forward. And he just whacks it away. Plays a clever puck. Gets up to head it! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. 
That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Oh, he really wanted that. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious. He's one of the biggest influences out there. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Sparta Prague have plenty in the middle. They've planned to defend the aerial route and will do so with numbers. Tries to get it forward quickly. A real chance to break. Lille are two up. Plays it into the channel, and he's made certain that won't get through. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Has a hit! Danger averted for now. Tries lifting it up, he gets! Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. It so nearly came off for him. Yeah, he's been at the centre of a lot of things, hasn't he? Uh, mostly good, I should add. You would think the first substitutions will be coming up pretty soon. Chip through. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Oh, we're talking fractions. Semi Kaya. Aimed long and direct. Now the pass. Massive leap. And he's there to hoof it away. Tries a through ball. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Long and high towards the flank. Now here's the through ball. And that has put paid to that. Ahead by two, and just about into the home straight. Plays it into the channel. Nicely controlled. to the last five minutes. 
Gets himself into trouble and he's lost it. Looks to slip it through. That's a brilliant interception. Sparta Prague have chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. He's gone direct. And the weighted pass, and another time! Good running with the ball, can they build on it? And that's it. Lille can be very happy with a job well done, an efficient win for which the players simply did enough. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Lille can certainly give themselves a pat on the back for a job well done. They have a togetherness that makes them very hard to beat. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.